Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Welcome back to the virtues of Dhul Hijjah. This is the day of Arafah. It is the most blessed day of the year. It is the day in which Allah boasts to the angels of His servants gathered together, all covered in dust, all covered in dirt, disheveled, but calling upon Him, invoking Him for His mercy, and people all over the world doing the same. The Prophet wasallam said, Al-Hajju Arafah. Arafah is, or Hajj is Arafah. And what he meant by that وسلم, is that the core of Hajj is Arafah. The core of Hajj is really contained in those moments, those blessed moments of Arafah. Same way the Prophet وسلم, said, Adu'a wal ibada, that supplication is worship, or he said, Anad Mutoba, that regret is repentance. It's not that it is only regret that is repentance, but the core of true repentance is sincere regret. And then everything that stems from that will be beneficial. Likewise, Arafah is Hajj. It is the core of Hajj. And it has significance to all of us around the world. The Prophet Wasallam said, there is no day in which Allah sets free more souls from the fire than on the day of Arafah. And on that day, Allah draws near to the earth and by way of exhibiting his pride, remarks to the angels, ma arada ha'ula, what is it that these servants of mine are asking me for? so that I may grant it to them. What is it that these servants of mine are asking me for? Imagine the scene of Arafah, of all of these people, four million people, all making dua at the same time, all supplicating to Allah in the same valley at the same time, in their different languages, with their sincere requests, and Allah honoring each and every single one of them at that moment, answering their supplications, each and every single one of them. As they call out to Allah, with their hearts and with their souls and in their own languages and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not depriving a single one of them. Imagine how blessed that is when the people all over the world on that day also try to, 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 to be a part of that blessing and call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever they are on this best day of the year, begging Allah for forgiveness, seeking Allah's pleasure, seeking Allah's bounty for everything in their lives and Allah answering each and every single one of them in the different languages in Arafah and in the different places all around the world. Dear brothers and sisters, the benefits of Hajj and Arafah reach the entire Ummah, they reach the entire nation. So pray for yourself, pray for your Ummah, pray for the people around the world, your Ummah around the world. and. Let the benefit flow inshallah ta'ala because this is the most blessed day of the year. Fasting this day is important. Praying this day is important. Making dua this day is important. Not doing anything that will remove the blessings of this day in terms of sin is important. And the Prophet sallallahu finally he said to us that there is no day in the year in which the shaitan is more humiliated and in more despair than he is on this day, the day of Arafah. Why? Because he sees these people, he sees you and he's been working his you know, for your entire life to take you away from your Creator. And then on this day, in these few hours, you call upon Allah and Allah forgives you for all of your sins. Allah puts you back in good ranking and good standing. And all of his efforts to delude you and to take you astray are in vain. And he sees all of these people calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being forgiven leaving his grasp into the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he feels completely humiliated. He sees the descent of the angels coming upon these people. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hearing the reports of the angels and forgiving these people. And the Prophet sallallahu said the only day that he was more humiliated was the day of Badr when he saw Jibreel alayhi salam and his army descend. So it was when he saw Jibreel alayhi salam and the angels descend, Shaitan thought that the end of Islam was gonna be the battle of Badr. But when he saw Jibreel alayhi salam descend, the angel Gabriel descend, he knew that he was going to lose this battle. Likewise, on the day of Arafah, when he sees all of these angels descending and he sees these people being forgiven, he knows that he's lost the battle with you as an individual. Make this the day in which you completely stamp the Shaitan out of your life and you are completely freed from any type of punishment and you are amongst those that Allah boasts about and earn his pleasure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us all this momentous occasion. Please keep us in your dua as well inshallah ta'ala and all of your brothers and sisters in the ummah around the world. May Allah accept it from us all. Jazakallah khayran wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. We are happy to announce the launch of the One Islam TV app. Watch hundreds of high-quality produced Islamic reminders. 
Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two new videos uploaded daily, insha'Allah. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. No more annoying ads or pop-ups. 100% safe browsing for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest, or drive with your device switched off. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders, insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.